Welcome back to Let's Play Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. I'm Burning Dog Face. This really is a uh, striking landscape for being so desolate. I, uh. I can't change form here. Told you. I, uh. I had been planning this stupid intro where I open up on me in car form and then just drive off the edge because you can't grapple in car form. Except, I'm kinda glad it didn't work because, uh... I feel like if I drove off the cliff in car form, I would just die and then I would have to start this entire fucking canyon over again. So, you know, Probably best avoid it. Well, come on, frame rate. Okay then. Or not. Got all squirrely once I all tabbed. Oh. Yeah, that will never work. Spider Man, my way back over here. Holy! Oh, and I'm fine. Thanks for asking. The big one seen impervious to weapons fire. You'll have to get up close and personal to take them out. When we're done, they're gonna wish they'd never been assembled. Beat them! Yeah! That enemy definitely wasn't in the other game. Cut to someone winking an exact timestamp to one of those things appearing in Fall of Cybertron. Whoa! Come on, frame rate! Struggling in the low 19s here. The 19s. I was gonna say 20s, but then it lingered on 19 for a while. So, how are the kids? Ow. That really hurt. I did not do that the right way. I did not mean to turn into a car. Fuck. Oh, you gotta do that. Fair enough. Hasn't been as much of the uh, landscape reshaping itself around us. By the it... sideswipe, do you read? We read you, Optimus! What is your location? We're nearly at the train station. We've got it. We have the dark spark. Well done, Autobots. Careful. The Insecticon swarm is riled up and attacking from all sides. I was going to ask why people who can do this wouldn't even need a train system. Then I realized cargo transport. Oh, jeez. Uh, Ironhide did it. I can't believe I did not try to drift when I was playing as Drift. Sort of makes me a little dizzy there. Acid cannon! Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Ironhide is in the wall. Eh, fuck it. Coming in handy! Oh yeah, you can earn some of these things more than once.
I might actually feel bad about, uh... Where? Not using that thing on them if it weren't for the fact that they're mass-produced clones. Not so much... I mean, they're called insecticlones, but it's more like duplicates. They build them out of scrap metal. Oh, I don't like this setting at all. This reminds me of a bit from uh, War for Cybertron, where uh, I was playing as Breakdown, that was it, one of the uh, Decepticons. I really liked that uh, when he transformed into a car, it looked like he was starting to breakdance. Hey, look who's here! It's the other Optimus. God damn it, frame rate, don't embarrass me in front of the boss man. Oh. Nah. Alright, fine. I don't know why it always switches to the other shoulder. I'm more comfortable than like. Welcome way. back, Autobots. Optimus, sweet! We got the Dark Spark! The Decepticon spotted us, though. Then we had better hurry. Sideswipe. Get to the control room and call for a train. Uh, yes, sir. Forgetting how bulky he was. This particular version of him, I mean. Uh. Surely we won't need that. Oh, I got dinged. That's a respawning section. I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. Side swipe. Get to the control room and call for a train. I'm kind of working on it. They won't let me grapple up there. Well, it was an acid cannon. Oh, there's a window, duh. Train is on the way. Everyone on board, now. I'm gonna tr uh, trigger that auto turret anyway. Just because. Ah, come on! The trains are on timers. Then we wait for the next one. Sorry. Oh, okay, that's why. That was scripted, wasn't it? Whoa! They have uh, stuff like that in escalation mode, where you earn points for killing dudes, and you can spend them on uh, buying better weapons. And, uh... Turrets like this and healing stations and it's actually pretty good, but it's definitely not uh, not balanced towards uh, one guy because I just immediately got slaughtered when I looked into it. As him, actually, since the only characters you start with are uh, Cybertron, Optimus, and Megatron. There only being one Megatron since, uh... Well, he's been dead since, uh, Dark of the Moon. And, spoilers, he wouldn't come back to life until the actual Age of Extinction movie. Actually, he got rezzed as Galvatron. I guess that means we can actually put that, uh... That one line to good use. Not literally. That cartoon is actually the source of a line that I quote sometimes when a, a new character is introduced. Namely, who the fuck is this Autobot? Oh jeez, sorry. Walked right in the way. Man, they're a little fast buggers, aren't they? The next train should be here soon. And this party was only just getting started. 
You and I have. Shit. He's in the sequel. There's this whole section where you're playing as Starscream. And you gotta like snipe dudes from afar and play it kinda low key. Almost stealthy. I say almost because again we are still like 30 foot tall robots. It was Eri Zoko who uh, commented that the architecture in the very first level, where I was playing as Drift on Earth, is kind of weird, and you remember that uh, you know, my character is, in fact, a really, really big robot. Because uh, some of the decorations and scenery seem to be designed for someone on my scale, not for a human who comes up to the height of about my knee. Oh, that was stupid. I know where there's health, fortunately. Ah! Why does it matter if I get my ass kicked? I got my bumper dented, you might say. Oh. I'll just go die in a fire. No, wait, I wouldn't die in a fire. It would have to be very, very hot. Oh, I didn't pull the switch yet. Why the fuck did it start me up there? Guess I full ammo. Fair enough. Did I unlock a thing? No, I didn't. Just checking my timer. Sorry, my bad. Train is on the way. Everyone on board, now! Kind of a small window, don't you think? Ah, come on! The trains are on timers! Then we wait for the next one! I think, uh, yeah, there are escalation levels set on both Earth and Cybertron. I think on Earth, the, uh, the bad guys are Lockdown's mercenaries, and on Cybertron, it's, uh, generic guys of whichever faction you're not playing as. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't have, uh, Nice. You can't have Prime there on a team with Megatron.
seems like after the first time, the repeatable quests should have more written on them. The next train should be here soon. Uh, and this party was only just getting started. How right you are. <laughs> Oh. I didn't know it could take damage. I guess that makes sense. You know, I... Usually right off the bat I talk about why I'm playing a particular game. But it's very simple in this case. Uh... Oh, right. I'm playing this game because... Ah. Rise of the Dark Spark is the tie-in to Transformers Age of Extinction, the fourth live-action uh, movie. And the fifth live-action movie, Transformers The Last Night, Comes out in a few months. So I wanted to play this while it was still at least a little bit relevant. You know what? This thing sucks. Oh, fuck. I didn't even notice I was uh, getting my ass kicked. Damn! It's really frustrating, you guys. Train is on the way. Everyone on board now. Surprised they didn't just leave me behind. Hey, wait! Scrap is a term Cybertronians use. Why would a Cybertronian be talking about Transformers in the manner of David Attenborough on a, uh... You know what? Let's not think about that. It's really creepy. Ah, come on! The trains are on timers. Then we wait for the next one. The uh, the studio has scheduled at least one more live action Transformers movie, as well as starting to look into the whole shared universe thing. They're not really sure what to do with that, other than the first way they've talked about it being uh, a standalone movie about Bumblebee. We're not even close to the part where, uh, 
Darkstream shows up. Just getting started. How right you are. Starscream, you know you're here by yourself, yes? There are no Decepticon medics here. Plus, the only one I can even think of is uh, Soundwave. He had a repair beam in War for Cybertron. And, uh... He spent the entire last level giving him shit. There we go, grenades! No, a bullet can have your name on it, but a grenade just says to whom it may concern. A friend of mine said that just last night. He might have been referencing something. I don't know. Ah! God damn it! Well, I guess that's for, that's it for me for uh, this session. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Transformers: Rise of the Dark Spark. <sighs> Let me get through that damn session, and I promise that I will only show you the one that gets through. Later.